worship. Everybody worships. Everyone, everywhere worships something. Whatever captivates the heart's affections, the mind's attention, and the soul's ambition essentially has our worship. We worship everything from pop icons to our jobs to our favorite sports team. While the object and method of worship vary, the act of worship does not. Oftentimes, our worship is focused on ourselves. The pursuit of fame, wealth, and personal satisfaction becomes the focus of our wants and desires, but no matter how much we worship these things, they can never satisfy the deepest longings of our soul. God has uniquely designed us with meaning and purpose. He's divinely created us in His own image. When we worship the created and not the creator, we are left unfulfilled and unsatisfied. We deny God the worship that is rightfully His. When we step into a relationship with God through His Son, Jesus, our relationship with God should become elevated above every other ambition, every other affection, and every other activity. It should change everything we do. It begins to change the words we say, the decisions we make, the way we view our circumstances and see the people around us. It changes our goals, desires, and pursuits. Instead of searching for meaning and purpose in our life, it becomes the meaning and purpose of our life. Worshiping God is not limited to singing a song on Sunday morning. It's a lifestyle lived out in reverence to God wherever he has placed you. There is no sacred and secular divide. Worship involves all of our lives, not just one part. Not just one part. That means we worship as we work, as we parent, as we go to school, as we gather around the table, as we suffer, as we compete, as we love, as we seek, as we create. All that we believe, think, say, and do should flow from our beating heart of worship. So what is worship? It's the outpouring of our lives, led by the Spirit and rooted in God's truth, devoting all we are and all we do to Him, our Creator. It's ascribing worthiness to the one who alone is worthy.